Right there, let's see who's in. Of energy, just me at the moment. <laughs> ah, Sean's there. Hi, Alison. Hi, you all right? Yeah, good, you? Yes, thanks. Good. How are you doing, man? Hey, Ellie. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, good, mate. How about you? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Excellent. Good to hear it. Ready for bit, another bit, one. Bit of legs, then. Kick, kick, the, kick the week off. Bit of legs. I haven't seen the, uh, the list. Is there any occlusion on this one? No, there isn't. What we got? We've got uh, the theme for today is we want, I want to try and move into something, something a little bit more plyometric. So we've got a right. slow movement coupled with a fast movement, or a couple of slow movements. Um, oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, superseded with a fast. So there's a, there's, a, there's a more explosive element to the second movement, I suppose. And that gets the fastest fibre going, pushes the heart rate. Uh, provided the, the joints are good with it, mate. So, you know, some people's uh, knees and hips. Yeah, are, mine aren't the best. Yeah, aren't mega happy with um, uh, with the explosive stuff. But you know, if not, just don't don't go, don't do the bounding. You can perform the reps a bit quicker, but your feet don't need to leave the floor. So we've got a couple of knee dominant supersets or tri sets, then a hip dominance working in this front. So, uh, so yeah, well, we'll have a little warm up then. I think I've not set this camera up right. I don't think. Mind you, it might. Should be all right. Someone's nicked me. Um, I normally use the plyometric boxes to set my camera up. The, 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 the PTs have nicked them, so I've had to use these boxes. But I'll, gra I'll grab these chairs and we'll get started. Okay, so a well, quick warm up then, and then I'll talk you through the. the start with the knee dominant stuff, obviously that hits the hits the quads. We do the big muscle groups first, as always, and then into the back of the leg. So let's have a little jog on the spot then, just try and raise the body to produce it up just a little bit. Oh, it's been too long warming up. We've got quite a bit to get through, and already I'm conscious that I'm a couple of minutes late starting. Typically, get engrossed in what I'm doing. Few little jumping jack star jumps. Try and get us up on the tiptoes, get these calves warm. Get the heart rate up a little bit. Back to that jog. Let's have some cross country skiers then, just trying to think about all the different planes that we can move in whilst raising the heart rate. that jog. Let's try and incorporate a squat then. So squatting, hinging at the hips, folding at the pelvis, big part of it for us. So let's just do a little check squat. Progressively deeper with each rep. Open up these hips, get these knees loose. And back to the jog. Okay, let's try and mobilise the hips, just bring that chair in. Just so you've got something to sort of hold on to a little. Okay. In this frontal plane then, let's try and open up the inner and outer thigh. If I twist my feet, my foot, if I turn my foot inwards as I go to my right here and outwards as I go to my left, I'm getting internal and external rotation at the head of the humerus at the hip which is another plane of movement for us, which is good for the warming up. So 90 degrees, hip flexor and hamstring. Progressively deeper with every rep. Change legs. Frontal plane first, then inner outer thigh with internal external rotation. 
just good practice for your warm ups. I feel that on the inner thigh already, which is good. And turning 90 degrees, bit of hamstring and hip flexor. We're going to get into the trunk and glutes next. So we want to get a hip hinge going. So a little fold at the pelvis, and up we come. Bit of hip hinging, big movement for us to get hit the legs, folding at the pelvis, hinging at the hips. Swing these hands through, just get used to this movement. Once this one's done, we're into the trunk, just quickly. Just a bit of rotation, free up the feet so that the knees are protected. We don't need to go too, too much higher than this into the lat, chest, shoulders. We'll save that for our upper body days. All right, that'll do us for our quick mobilization, quick warm up, really quick. So, as I said just a second ago, we've got a slow strength hypertrophy based movement, supersetted with something that's a little bit more explosive, a little bit more plyometric, a movement that you do a little bit faster, maybe with a little bit of a, a little bit of a hot, little bit of a jump. A little bit more sort of air to it, I suppose, so you're not planted all the time. So we're going to go single leg first, unilateral. So we're going to do our levitation squat, which we can use our chair. So if I start on my left leg, I'm going to go max reps, good reps, maybe 12 reps, levitation squat, my left leg, straight into single leg hops on the same leg. So I want to try and get the same amount of reps on the plyometric as I can, as I did on my sort of strength, just to finish them off. Maybe even a few more if you can. And then we'll go two sets each side, a couple of big breaths before going to the right side, and then we'll take a good rest and do the second set both sides. Um, so let's try and position this so that we can see what's going on. So I've got the chair there. Not this one, this might just be lowering down just a touch. Let's try that. They've, uh, they've ruined my little system, the pieces. There we go. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So I've got that chair for balance and for a spot. And I can work, work down now into my levitation squats. This leg wants to stay up. That knee wants to stay. The foot wants to stay off the floor as you go down. And then a big drive. All right. So we've, uh, levitation squat for us has been a staple for these unilateral strength-based movements. Once we've done as many of those as I can, same leg. And I want to hit those hops as, as best I can. So maybe try and beat the amount of reps that you can on the hops. It's, uh, there's less time on attention, so you'll be able to get a little bit more reps on the explosive than you can on the sort of slower strength-based stuff. All right, then. So let's have a go. Then first set, levitation squat. Let's see how we go. Try and keep this trailing leg, this 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 leg, this this uh, high leg off the floor for as long as you can. Hinge at the hip, shoulders. Hips square, so try not to twist as you drop it down into this squat. Good hinge at the hip, good fold at the pelvis. Here we go. Good negative. Get as deep as you can. Keep this leg off the floor. Knees are a bit sore today. You're planted, knees tracking the toes, six. <sighs> Seven, I'm trying to work that negative, remember? Eight. <sighs> Nine, so we get the 12. <sighs> Ten, two more. <sighs> Last one. <laughs> Same leg now, straight in, into my little hops, just to finish him off. Twenty. <laughs> 
exhale. Little breather there. Quick rest. Managed to double up on the fast reps there. So 24 single leg hops after 12 of me sort of slow controlled levitation squats. So try not to rest too long now, just a little recovery. And let's do the same going into the opposite side. Okay. Here we go. This leg stays up. Best you can. Hinge at the hips. Pelvis square, shoulder square. You've got a spot for balance here. Let's see how we go. Go slow negative. Halfway there, for me anyway. Three more. Last one. Okay, so that's 12 on the right side. I'm gonna try and get 24 little hops now, if I can. That's halfway. Oh. Oh. Plyometric stuff certainly gets the heart rate up. So while we recover, let's just try and talk about why we're structuring this the way we are. If you were to do those single leg hops on their own, there wouldn't be a great amount of value to them. But because we're adding them into, uh, we're adding them into an exercise selection where the emphasis is time and attention is strength is a bit more sort of hypertrophy based. It, they do complement each other quite well from that. So cheers, Mark. See you later. So we've got that slow control movement immediately into something that's a little bit faster, a little bit more athletic, single leg. You're on one leg, so you're working on your balance, you're working on that athletic control through the hips and the pelvis. So, uh, so yeah. You know, it's, a, it's a, some good benefit there. It doesn't look like much, but until you try it, you, you, you'll sort of feel it when you, when you do try it. Another 30 seconds or so then, we'll go for that second set. Two sets on this one total, and then we've got a try set to do that's knee dominant that recruits these quads before we move into the hip dominant stuff that hits the hamstrings and a bit of glutes and a bit of lower back. Right, here we go then. Let's go through it again. So you've got your, your rep target now. It'd be nice to hit it again, wouldn't it? Get the, get the same amount of reps. So you've got, that, you've got that challenge of hitting the same amount of reps as we got previous set. As soon as you feel good, let's go for the second set. Good hip hinge, square, slow descent, good drive out. Keep that trailing leg off the floor. Yeah, knees feel better now on one set in. Knees aren't what they used to be. I've got a nice soft floor underneath me, which helps on the explosive stuff. Trying to keep this train leg off the floor for as long as I can. Three more. Still trying to get the slow negative. Last one. 
into the explosive stuff. Can I double the reps? Let's have a go. Yep, it's not too bad actually. 24 there, 12 slow reps, 24 fast. Little breather. As soon as you're finished, we're gonna to swap to the other side. Okay, as soon as you feel good, let's hit that opposite side, same again. Good levitation, squat, slow, controlled, big drive. 24 then, so everything's even. First part of our knee dominant workout done for the quads. I'm gonna go get my drink. Good recovery there, get some fluids on board. Okay, so the next portion of our knee dominant, um, quad dominant, I suppose, quad recruiting uh, part of our leg workout. We're gonna do a chair pistol squat on the left, hand, left leg, immediately into a chair pistol squat on the right leg. And our final movement is a tornado squat. The tornado squat adds the transverse plane into the movement, so we get a little bit of rotation that midsection, uh, much more athletic than just staying in a sagittal plane. So the tornado squats, if you can remember, so chair pistol squats, that's a single leg squat to the chair, 12 reps on the left, 12 reps on the right, then I wanna try and get 24 reps on the tornado squats, just as a reminder for your tornado squat. <laughs> it's a squat with rotation, so I need enough height to get some rotation, so I can go 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees if I want. If I want to make that a bit harder, I can go for 180s, all the way around. Let's go for 180. All right, so maybe, it depends how you feel with your legs. 180s or 90s, so you need a bit of space around you. So this is a tricep, this. Pistol squat left, pistol squat right, tornado squat for the total amount of reps. So 12 pistol squat left, 12 pistol squat right, right, 24 tornado squats twice through, then we're into our hip dominant stuff. All right, here we go then. All right, left, I'm gonna start on my left leg. 
I'm going to try and touch down lightly. Touch and drive. One. Slow negative. Touch and drive. Two. Touch. Feel that my quads halfway. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Burning now. Eleven. One more. Once you've done your 12, or as many as you can, quick change, opposite leg. Well, that was a very good rep. Lost my balance. Six. Last one. Oh, good minimal rest. Into the tornado squats. See if we can get 24. Oh, that burns at the end. That was tough. Ooh, my heart rate up. Felt it on the quads. Good recovery there. We've got one more of those to go. Tick her up. Good minute at least there. Before we tackle that one more time. Get up my legs. Put this heart rate down. Take some fluids on board. Pretty humid day, warm day. So make sure you're drinking plenty. We've got that tricep to run one more time. Little dab on. Okay. Let's get set up for our second set then. For me, it's left leg into right leg, into the tornadoes. So as soon as you feel good and ready, let's have a go at this second set. I'm gonna shoot for 12, 12, 24 again. Hopefully I'll get there. As soon as you feel good, away we go. You can use this elevated leg just to touch down between reps if you want to. Just for your balance. Try not to, of course. That's going to work on your on your balance. Negatives, remember. That's halfway for me. One more. Okay, 12, quick shake. Right side, here we go. Good. 
all in. Arm head up, chest out, hinge, hip hinge, halfway for me, light touch, off that slow negative. Three more. Two more for me anyway. Oh, last one for me. Oh, that was tough. All right. Last bit, last challenge now. Tornadoes, 24. Here we go. Halfway. Oh. oh, oh, tough again, tough on the legs, Tick has come up again, oh. let's get that heart rate down before we have a look at what's next on our workout sheet. So two knee dominant movements for the big muscle groups for the quads. Levitation squat into single leg hops is done. Pistol squat left, pistol squat right into tornado squats is done. So we've got some hip dominant stuff we need to work through. We're going to do the elevated hip thrusts, which have been a staple for us. Trying to get that unilateral sort of hip extension going, that pelvic control. Unilateral emphasizes the strength, of course. Then we've got sprinter style dynamic lunges. That'd be tough. Sprinter style, if you remember, instead of staying up dead upright, which is the traditional way to do your lunges, your dynamic lunges, we try and touch the floor in the sprinter position with our hands, which forces the tip of the pelvis so that when you come out of the rep, you've got hip extension. Hip extension, of course taken care of through the hamstrings and glutes. So it emphasizes the, uh, the, the, the back of the legs somewhat when we do it that way. There's still some quads in it, but we're sharing the load through a bit of hip extension. So that, we've got two sets of those to do next, then in or out of thigh, which we've done in the past. We've got no calves today. And the reason for that is because when we're explosive up on the tiptoes, we're getting an indirect calf workout, all right? So, not as much emphasis, not as much need, I guess, to hit the to hit the calf so much when you're jumping around, when you're up on your tiptoes, you know you're going to get a bit of calf recruitment uh, naturally as part of doing that. So elevated hip thrust left, elevated hip thrust right, sprint to dynamic lunge. I'll give you a little demo so that you, you know what's going on. I'm trying to set this camera a little better. Let's have a look. All right. I can already feel my lower back. So this should give me a little bit more midsection and core recruitment, which for me is good. So legs up on your on your chair, 90 degrees at the hips, 90 degrees at the knees if you can. One leg dead straight up. From there, I want to form a straight line between my knee, my hips, and my shoulder. Without this leg falling forward, try to keep it up nice and straight. See who's got the flexible hamstrings. Up we come. One. Up we come. Two. We're going to go for 12 reps there. Then a quick swap. 12 reps. Then we're up into our dynamic lunges. Hope you can remember the dynamic lunge. I'm in position to start this now, so just copy me as we go through the dynamic lunges. Let's see if we can get 12 reps on the left. 12 reps on the right, and then 24 sprinter style, that's hands down to the floor with a fold at the pelvis, dynamic lunges. All right, then here we go. As soon as you're ready, off you go. Starting with my left leg. Very hamstring dominant, this one. Big squeeze. 
Oh, tough, 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 tough. Quick swap. Here we go. Oh, these are tough. Oh, get right through with the hips. Oh. Oh, not an easy exercise at all. 12 each side onto these dynamic lunge sprinter styles. Just move my chair out of the way. Okay, so I want to be down in this sprinter position and essentially I'm just going to swap positions there. That's a hard set. Oh. You done? No worries here. Thanks, man. See you later. Yep. Oh. Good rest there. Hi, oh, stuff. Don't get my heart right down. Them dynamic lunges are tough. Good breather there. We're doing well for time. So let's take that rest. Oh man. Lower back. We're letting the lower back. Got a good sweat on as well now. Got one more of them to go. Trying to get that lower back recruited, trying to get those glutes working, trying to get the hamstrings working. Whew, I'm not looking forward to the second set. Let's get a few fluids on board, get a drink. Another 30 seconds or so. Tough them dynamic lunges. Touching down every time. Okay, let's get set up then. The second set, core on the lower back. Feel that, not in a bad way. Just the muscle groups are letting me know that they're also working, which is good. So that's absolutely no bad thing at all for me. Knowing that I don't do enough midsection, get that recruitment through the lower back. All right, we're going to go for Sam again then. See if you're going to hit the same amount of reps. Accommodating for fatigue, of course. 12 on my left, 12 on my right, 24 sprints of dynamic lunges. Come on, let's see how, let's see how we go. Let's get them done. One more. Twelve. Nice quick swap. Left leg to right leg. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh, that's 12 both sides. <sighs> Into these tough dynamic lunges now. See what we can do. Start in that sprinter position. Touch and go. Gonna let that lower back recover straight down there. Oh, legs as well. Whew. Oh, I hope you guys are feeling them as much as I am. Oh. Good nice breather there. Let's see if we can bring that heart rate down. Oh. Oh. So we've got a good chunk of knee dominant work earlier. Good little bit there. Good, good exercise selections there for the hip dominant stuff. Got my heart rate going as well. So that's uh, no bad thing. Felt it on the working muscle groups. Great. Slow movement into a fast one. So we've got that different muscular contraction going on, which is what we're after today. Now we've got that the last little bit of our leg workout now. We need to work in a different plane. We need to work laterally, left to right. We call that the frontal plane, and that's going to allow us to recruit the inner and outer thigh just a little bit. So when we look at the muscle groups of the upper leg and have we recruited everything well in the upper leg, have we missed anything out? No, we haven't. We've got plenty of quads, we've got plenty of hams, we've got plenty of glutes, and we've got some inner and outer thigh to come up. So ticking all the boxes for that upper leg, pelvis, all those muscle groups, we, 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 we're doing well with them. So last little bit now then, so let's have a chat about this last beat. Set this up a little. Okay, so trying to get out of this sagittal plane, front to back, and into this frontal plane, this lateral plane, side to side. So you're gonna need your slide pads. So if you're on if you're on a hard floor, a couple of dusters will be great. If you're on a carpet, a couple of Tupperware dish lids would also be great. In fact, I've forgotten mine. Give us two seconds, I'm gonna go and grab them. I'm gonna spin around the other way as well, because the hard floor is the other side. So I'm on the on the rubber floor there. So I'm gonna spin this round. Now, now we're on the studio floor here. So we're going to do our slide lateral lunges. Then we're going to do our speed skaters. So we've got inner thigh going into outer thigh. Just go and grab me dusted. Okay, then same theme. We've done these before. 12 left, 12 right. 
and then 24 total for our, for our speed skaters. The speed skaters we've got to, we've got to explode off that planted foot, which is going to recruit the outside. For these slide lunges, we've got to drag our feet together like a pair of scissors almost, and that's going to hit the inner thigh. All right, so that's what we're, that's what we're trying to look for. All right, then here we go. 12, I'm going to start on my right side this time. 12 on my right. Better. 12 on my right, then here we go. Stretch it out. One. Two. I'm trying to split your shorts like I'm doing. Oh, three. Come on. That's a better rep. Four. Five. Slow reps, these. Six. Good stretch. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Trying to get that good stretch at the bottom. One more on the right side. <sighs> Quick swap, left side. 12 again would be nice. So here we go. Oh. <sighs> Not the best of first reps. That's a better rep. Two. <sighs> better negative anyway. Three. Four. Five. Good. Six. I'm tired now. Seven. Eight. Come on, we get the twelve. Nine. Two more, I want the 12. That's a better rep. Last one. Okay, so that's the slow reps I can care of. We're gonna double it up now with something a little bit more explosive. We're gonna to go to the speed skates for the outer thigh. Twist the hands across the torso. So there's transverse plane, there's rotation. Try and get 24 reps. Here we go. Seven, stay low. Breather there. My lower back pumps, my legs are pumped. Make sure you take your fluids on board. We've got one more of those to do. And that's our leg workout done. Save the stretching off. I don't think I'm going to get 12 reps on the slides again. 
technique was suffering a bit. But that's just fatigue, that's fine. As long as you're aware, and you're not doing it all the time, and you can manage it, then that's absolutely fine. Okay, let's go again then. Let's get them done. Slide, lateral lunges, inner thigh, left and then right, speed skate is out of thigh to finish the tri set. All right, here we go. Don't split me short. One, not bad rep to start. Over eight, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight on the left side for me now. Come on. Halfway. <sighs> Two more. Oh, that's one. Oh, that's Speed skates to finish. Let's go, let's get them done. Eight and eight on the slide laterals. Managed to beat it on the on the speed skaters. Tens each side for 20 reps total. Oh, tough today. Oh, let's get set up for a bit of stretching off. Oh, just gonna give my lower back just a little chance to recover first. Legs and lower back. Let me know. There. Oh. Stretch off anything that's tight. I'm going to go through a bit of cooling down now anyway. Well, on time today, it looks like it's about 10 to. What time is it? Yeah, 52. So eight minutes to. Good stretch off now. Take us up to about seven, uh, seven o'clock. Okay. So let's bring the chair in. Help us hit these stretches. So I'm just going to get something to help protect my knee on this quad stretch. So look after these knees. Hold that up just at the base of this chair. So my knee can touch down to that. Oops. Okay, that's a better view. All right then. Pop that leg you want to stretch up, trailing leg. Pop the knee down onto you, onto that soft, something soft that knee. Glutes to the heel. Push your hips through, head up, chest out. Feel that stretch on this trailing leg, quad and hip flexor. Holding at that point of discomfort. Let that stretch take. And 
relax there, swapping the legs over. Gluten heel, head up, chest out, hips through. Let that quad stretch out. Oof. Up to your feet. Let's turn our attention to the hamstring and inner thigh. Pop your leg up. Now remember what we said about stretching off the hamstring. Keep that and keep an anterior pelvic tilt. Keep your hips in extension. You don't need to lose your thoracic positioning then if you do that. Drop into it with this tray, with this uh, planted leg, pull your toes towards you and just tip at the pelvis just a little bit, keeping your hips in extension and you'll feel this in your hamstring. Stretch it out. If you can. Let that stretch take. Tighten your quad as well. Tighten the quad is helping going to help get a little bit more out of this stretch in the hamstring. So really squeeze your quads. Turn 90 degrees to the right or left, whichever way, just so you hit your inner thigh and drop into that inner thigh stretch. There we go. And relax there. Same stretch the other side now then. Hamstring first. Hips in extension. Drop in. Tighten the quad. Toes towards you. Stretch off that. Keep that thoracic position in. Feel it here. Ninety degree turn. To the right, drop in for that inner thigh. Look at that stretch. Outer thigh now, then, so you can use the chair for a spot. For a balance, let's get that figure of four, sit in, open up the hip. Holding the stretch. Oh, to the side. Change over, drop in. <sighs> Relax there for the outer thigh. Lastly, you can lean into your chair or lean into something. Take that back leg, back obviously back. Back leg straight to the heel down, toes at 12 o'clock. Just ease your weight forward, stretch out those calves. We spent a little bit of time up on the tiptoes today, bouncing around on our tiptoes, so we know the calves are going to have a bit of fatigue in them. And a quick change. Last stretch now. Stretch out the calf. Oh, and relax there. Job done. Who starts the week? Legs done. Whew. Yeah, Thursday, upper body push. Friday, upper body pull. Well done, everyone. Who's left in? Yeah, brilliant. 
struggle that one, buddy. <laughs> yeah, tough that, tough that, wasn't it? Definitely it was, was, it certainly was. Yeah, got, got the ticker going a bit, that one, moving, moving around a bit quicker. Yeah, I was struggling today. I think it might be the weather, maybe. But no, yeah, it's been, it's yeah, it's been, it is, yeah, it's been, it's been warm and close one, so it's, uh, we're certainly not used to physically exerting ourselves in those conditions, so it's probably it's going to have a bearing, for sure. So, I don't oh, suppose yeah. you've got any, uh, any protein left, have you, Pat? Uh, I'm trying to get cheers, in contact Pat. with you. Cheers, thanks, Alison. See you later. Um, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm hoping that they can deliver um, this week on, on Thursday, I'm hoping. Um, so I just need to, to touch base with them again tomorrow. He rang me today, the lad, but I missed him. But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're starting deliveries from Thursday. Okay, cool. So with, the, with the gyms opening up, obviously they want to make sure that the gyms are stocked with the protein so that they can start selling as soon yeah, as the doors are open. So, we're, yeah, I'm hoping to have some for Thursday, mate. Any particular flavours you're after? Uh, I'll tell you what, mate. If you've got any of those salted caramel... I'll uh, oh, I'll caramel. take I'll take yeah. like four or five of them off you. Just, <laughs> Is it nice? Honestly, yeah, it's it's so nice. I'll get some white. It's worth it. Good, yeah. All right, then, mate. So no, I know you like that one, mate. I'll get a few of them in. That's beautiful, beautiful. And uh, I'll get a box of protein bars as well if you if you get any of those in. Yeah, yeah, cracking. Yeah. So hopefully it's all gonna all gonna land this week. I'm hoping so that we can all get going again, some normality next week. Beautiful. All right, mate. Well, I'll uh, I'll shoot you a text on uh, on Thursday or something. Spot on early. All the best, mate. Thank you. Nice, mate. Thanks for tonight. No worries. Anytime. See you later. See you, Kim. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Cheers, Sean, if you're still there, mate.